It's been almost two weeks, but we're back with a brand new video for you. I had a go at creating some cartoon characters which I'd like to share with you and offer a simple walkthrough of how I made them. Not too long ago I touched on some struggles that many of us have with grasping the sculpting within dreams. Whether it's because of the controls or the beginner nature of it all, it's a tough challenge. Creating simpler characters to begin with is the obvious choice and cartoon characters are a perfect match. There are many creators who have started to make a bunch of classic and beloved cartoon characters from Dexter's Lab, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Spongebob Squarepants, Rick and Morty and many more. And it's no surprise that when you consider that they are easier to create than a realistic sculpt and they are instantly lovable. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check out more of these cartoon creations. This is what led me to begin working on some cartoon sculpts of my own. I was watching cartoons during what I would consider a classic era in Cartoon Network's history. I watched some of the shows which I mentioned previously, as well as others such as Ed, Ed and Eddie, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, and Johnny Bravo. Hello 911 emergency, there's a handsome guy in my house. Oh. <laughs> Wait a second, cancel that. It's only me. But the one which I thought was the simplest to begin with was the good old trio, the Powerpuff Girls. If you look at their design, they are extremely simple to make. They aren't even properly proportioned as normal little girls, but hey, I guess that's what makes them so special. Plus, each of them are very similar, with the exception of their hair and colour, which meant I could reuse the same assets and simply edit them to save time and create more. The amazing thing is that even though their shapes are so basic, they still look nice once they are all pieced together. So how exactly did I start Professor Utonium's little Chemical X infused bundles of joy? The first thing I had to do was get the basic shapes for their arms and legs. I blended a couple of spheres together, but on reflection I'm sure you could stretch the curve shape to create the same rounded cylinder look. The arms and legs were pretty much the same, so that was one task already complete. With the body, since I wasn't sure if I would rig them at a later stage, I made three separate pieces for the hips, lower and upper torso, each with their own colour to match their dress and waist. Again, all simple, easy to make shapes. The head was the most fun part. I mean, look at it. It's huge! Their heads aren't exactly round, so I had to blend them down slightly into more of an oval shape. Then it was on to those big, beautiful eyes. Arguably the best part of the entire sculpt for me. I could practice layering circular paint and really bring the characters to life. The hair was something which I struggled with, mainly because I wasn't quite sure what the best technique would be to get the cleanest possible look. In the end, I just cloned the head, layered it around the head whilst avoiding the forehead, and then added extra sculpt details for each of their unique hairstyles. At some point, I know I'll have to experiment with fleck hair in order to have long flowing hair for more realistic sculpts, but for now, the more plastic static look serves well. After adding Blossom's bow, changing their colours and painting on their shoes, all that was left was to get them into some poses. I made a few different ones, some had different emotions so I had to redo the eyes to give a more focused slash menacing look, and that's really all there is to it. There are definitely more things I could do to fine tune their look, but for now I think it's a good place to start something fresh. I did have the idea to create a short animation or even a demo for a game, but when I looked down all of the animation and games I have planned, the list was mounting far too high and it's really time that I should release something from dreams, don't you think? In the near future I will attempt some original cartoon sculpts which I can't wait to get started on. As you may know, our first animated series, Shaped, is in development and should be ready soon with 6 episodes, but immediately after that concludes we'll share more details on the next cartoon series which we hope you'll love. That concludes our first Dreams Beginner Sculpting video. We hope that something as simple as this can inspire you to create something for yourself and make sure you share any of your own creations with us here on the channel over on Twitter at LB Animation or send us your dreams on PSN at LB Animation. See you in the next Dreams video.